After an extremely mild start to 2020, it's finally starting to feel like winter. And while it might be tough for us to adjust to the up and down temperatures, plants, they're saying, same. <laughs> <laughs> WWAY's Sydney Bouchelle went to find out what this weather means for spring growth. Sydney? Randy and Donna, this weather left me with a little bit of a cold, and I think it's fair to say something similar is happening to the plants. According to the experts, it hasn't caused major damage to spring crops, but there's definitely going to be a loss. Spring sprang, then got cold feet. Just like us, plants are left confused by this weather. They start to wake up thinking it's March and April and not January. The National Phenology Network says the spring leaf out has arrived more than three weeks early, specifically 22 days early in Wilmington. But the weather got colder, stunting the growth of the plants. Pender County Cooperative Director Mark Sykes says it's too early to tell how much loss there will be to certain crops. There will be loss because we can't. We can't frost protect berries in January. It's just too, too expensive and too difficult. Sites says once one blueberry plant blooms, they don't bloom again, creating a loss in some of the crop. But the strawberries can rebloom. New Hanover County Arboretum Director Lloyd Singleton says this could impact spring growth. If there's some plants that are spending their energy now blooming, they may not bloom again. Or if they do, it may be a less showy bloom. He says some trees could hold on to brown leaves all year long if they started blooming and the cold damages them. It may affect the overall aesthetics of the plants for the next year, but I think that's going to be rare. That would only be in some very early blooming trees like red buds. As for Wilmington's crown jewel, Singleton says so far the azaleas seem to be okay, as long as temperatures remain mild and don't get too warm. We'll head into our spring and have hopefully a normal azalea bloom, I hope. If you have plants at home, the experts say to keep them covered at night with a light fabric, but not plastic. Also ensure that they are well watered. The goal is to remove as much stress from the plants as possible. Randy.